at 2.30 sharp. Supporters are actively welcomed. The Sun Princess team will consist of Phil Prescott, Fraser Ewan, Bob Bentley, Malcolm Williams, Dave Inge, Stuart Bucock, Andy Wickenden, Alvarez Alameo, Delfino Dinez, Julio Fernandez, Aquino Pereira, and Eusebio Rosa. Also, the Wimbledon Finals will be televised on the TV here, live from London, Saturday morning. Sports highlights will be posted on the news notice board each week for anyone interested. Well, thank you, Cindy. Of course, uh, all you sports fans uh, will be pleased to know that uh, the match against the Ireland Princess, if it comes off, is going to be covered by Channel 4 in its entirety. And I shall be there at the scene myself. So uh, also, Cindy, you'll be there as well yes. to cover the whole match. So thank you, Cindy, and we'll be looking forward to the coverage next week. Okay, thank been you, Colonel. Cindy Kling at the uh, Sun Princess uh, Channel 4 Sports Desk. Okay. Well, it's now time for David Ripoff's reports. Let's see where David is this week. Good evening, viewers. For most of us, the mere mention of the word gold instantly conjures up visions of endless trays of trinkets luxuriously lying in jeweler shop windows awaiting the time for when we have funds enough to own them for our very selves yes indeed we do yearn for the yellow but let us stop for a moment and consider the tremendous hardships and primitive conditions endured by these prospectors during their constant search for this avaricious metal it is the toughest of existences, and here on a tributary of the mighty Yukon River, I found a man who daily works in these alluvial sands. While still a child, James Peckerpatch travelled from San Francisco on a perilous journey, along with thousands of would-be hopefuls. A journey that later came to be known as the Klondike Gold Rush. James, that would have been in 1898, right? 1898, yep, uh, I reckon it were. And were you brought, on what must have seemed through your childish eyes, this adventure by your parents? Adventure? Uh, no, you see, I was sort of an orphan. And uh, I was kind of taken under the wing by an old Chinese gentleman, and that's how I got here to these parts. So on arriving here, the old Chinaman and you then staked this stretch of the river, and if I've been rightly informed, you've worked here ever since. Uh, well, sort of. You see, the old man died after we'd only been here four or five years and right before he died he made me promise to carry on his useful work J james can you say in all honesty that these long years of tiresome toil have been financially beneficial um i mean uh, have you ever found vast deposits of gold 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 what in tarnation are you talking about, young man? Well, as a prospector, <laughs> surely, gold. after such a long time, you must have found some gold. Listen here, you young whippersnapper, let me set you straight on something. I never was a prospector. I'm not a prospector now, nor do I ever want to be a prospector. Hell, son, I... I run the laundry service here for the mining company. <laughs> See you later, boy. Well, that, that's oh. been Dave Ripoff, the mining company, laundry service. Oh, my God. Back to you in the studio, Channel 4, oh Colonel. Get me that stupid researcher. Thank you, David, and uh, best of luck next week. This brings us to the end of another Channel 4 News. This is Colonel John Kling signing off till next week.
And of course, when you come back, your job is guaranteed in the Channel 4 Future Productions. Well, of course, this is not my actually last programme. I will be broadcasting next week oh. for the last time. OK, Joey. My apologies for that. I was uh, get, getting rid of you a bit too soon. I can do it. OK, so being Joey Dyer and News from the Officers seen this week on Channel 4 News. Sydney Kling is unable to be in the studio tonight, but uh, she takes her sports report last week in Ketchikan. Thank you, Colonel. As many of you know, the match between the Third Princess and the Island Princess last Monday afternoon did not have very favorable results for the Sun Princess. Though a few of the Sun Princess key players were on leave, the match proceeded, and up until halftime, the Island Princess could only manage to put one goal on the board. The fine coordination of the Island Princess team showed in the second half, though, as they steadily applied pressure and finally topped off their goal screen with a penalty minutes before the final whistle to finish the game with a remarkable 7-0 score. I'm sure a rematch in August will prove to be a different story, though. Future matches under arrangement include the Sun Princess versus the Juno 11 and the Odessa 11. The Russian team of the Odessa is particularly keen to play the Sun, having been left out in the cold since their arrival in Alaska. This item of interest has crossed my desk. The officers will be playing the crew this Monday in Juno. All of you soccer fans, be sure and turn out to support the team of your choice. Transportation will be provided from CDEC Pontoon. Well, thank you, Sydney, for that report. And um, as Sydney was not at the football match, and uh, I was myself, we're now going to bring you uh, a few highlights of last week's uh, match against the Island Princess. And welcome to the uh, the Island Princess Super Launch on its way to the big match in Juno on Douglas Island. Uh, the Sun Princess All-Stars against the uh, the Island Princess team. I've got with me the captain of the Sun Princess All-Stars, uh, Nick, welcome. And uh, how do you feel about this afternoon's match? Well, a little bit nervous, actually, because the Island Princess always give us the good opposition. And the last uh, year we beat them 1-0, and it was a very close match. We have a different pitch this season, a smaller one, one which has a lot more... Um, if it's dry today, it can be very dusty. Otherwise, it would be very heavy going if it's rain. Nick, I've noticed that the Island Princess, as usual, they're providing a lot of the... Um, supporters and musical uh, accompaniment. Uh, today we haven't, the Sun Princess team hasn't got any uh, supporters. Uh, do you think this is going to affect the, uh, the outcome? Well, unfortunately, our, our musical supporters were having a rehearsal today, but uh, we've got a, a good group of, of our own. Um, I think the enthusiasm of our team actually will put up a good, good opposition. OK, Nick, we'll uh, look forward to the match. Uh, we're nearly over at Douglas Island right now, so we're going to... Uh, Go off the air until the uh, big match is over. Going out to Douglas Island. We're very lucky we have the Italian captain with, you, uh, with us today. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. I would just uh, like to say that we are very glad to be here again with you and uh, back again for the second time in Juno. Yeah, uh, your team this afternoon, are you quite confident that you're going to uh, beat the uh, Sun Princess All-Stars? Uh, well, uh, we don't know the, your, your team now. We are quite strong and uh, we'll see. And anyway, uh, uh, the best will win. Okay, one more question. There's a rumour that uh, if uh, if you go into the lead very quickly, you're going to bring on the famous Italian uh, defence. Is this going to be true today or, or not? Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, the uh, the English people, they seem to believe that if you're going to go ahead, uh, you're going to be very defensive and uh, stop the All-Stars uh, trying to get back. No, we, we have a different plan today, really. We have a different plan. Okay, that was the uh, Island Princess... Uh, Soccer football captain, thank you very much, and the best of luck for the second. But uh, there's Nick Howard, the uh, captain. I wonder what's on his mind at the moment. <laughs> Strong kick by the Italians there. And yet again, they're attacking the All Stars uh, goal now. Phil Prescott in trouble? No, he's not. He's gone out, but he's going back. And ball still in play. C coming across. Yes, Phil's going to be in trouble. He's going way out of his area. If that ball comes back, Phil's in a lot of trouble for the All-Stars. He's coming over. And, yes, the Italians have scored the first goal of the match. Yes, it looked very obvious that uh, pressure was on the uh, Sun Princess, and the Italians have scored uh, 
some princess uh, spectators are in dismay. So um, we're just going to hope hope that uh, they can come back. Uh, this was expected. A lot of pressure on the uh, on the All Stars goal mouth. Well, that was the Italians' goal, and we have with me uh, at the match a very uh, famous Sun Princess All Star supporter, Mr. Merrick. Welcome. Uh, could you come a bit closer, please, sir? Uh, unfortunately, we've just gone one goal down. Uh, how do you see the match uh, at the moment? Well, John, quite frankly, Colonel, it's um, only the start. I think our men are playing extraordinarily well here today, and I think it really is quite fantastic. I've come out in special rig, as you can tell, just in case they want to reserve. And I think the whole match is going to change, really, for us in a moment or two. I honestly believe that they're playing incredibly well, and, you know, we're going to win. Well, there we are. That was Mr. Merrick, uh, the purser. And uh, we're going to believe you, uh, Mr. Merrick, and go back to the match. Thank you very much for this uh, very exclusive interview while the match is in progress. Thank you very much, John. And we'll see you on Channel 4 on Sunday. Look forward to that. Okay. Back to the match now. <laughs> Again, they're still coming on strong. Could it be 7 0? Looks like. <laughs> Nearly. There's a foul there. Trying to make it 7 0 there, but not succeeding. <laughs> We have a penalty here against the, against, against the All-Stars. Could this be 7-0? Phil Prescott looking a little bit concerned as we watch this penalty. Here it comes. Can Phil save it? No, hard, hard luck. the end of the, uh, the match today, the final score being 7-0 to the Island Princess against the All-Stars as they come off and uh, get some refreshments. This has been Colonel John Kling here, filling in for Cindy Kling, and uh, here's uh, Malcolm. Malcolm, uh, come over here a second. Malcolm, uh, before you say anything, uh, as I did in the commentary, I, made a, I, was, uh, I didn't realise you were the referee. Were you referee in the first match, in the first yeah, half? I was, I was just watching it. You were, of course, you can't make any comment being the referee, but uh, was it 7-0? Uh, yes, it was. 7-0, thank you very much for confirming that, and uh, we'll see you on Channel 4 later on. Well done, well done. Here we have one of the, uh, one of the uh, players on the uh, team. What do you think of today's match? 7-0, it's rather, rather a lot. We had a good team. Uh, about your team, I don't know what I can say. Used to have a better team once when I used to be on the Sun Princess myself. Uh, what do you think about the fact that uh, Channel 4, we might send you a video uh, of the match today. Would you be looking forward to seeing that? If you please, if you can do that, we'll really appreciate, you know. Because uh, <laughs> at the moment, uh, we don't have anyone yeah. on board of the, on the Island Princess who can do that. Okay, well, if you send us a uh, blank tape over sometime, we'll uh, by all means send you the tape of today's match. Thank, thank you very much. I just interviewed the Italian uh, captain, or one of the Italians, and... Uh, what do you think about them today's match? 7 0, rather disappointing? Well, for us, well, it proves that uh, the Island Princess are a much more coordinated, more enthusiastic uh, team, actually. Uh, and uh, we, of course, we have three or four of our key players on leave, so which doesn't help. But um, uh, a couple to win, uh, a couple of other things. You know, for a match like this, you need uh, almost a referee uh, who has uh, almost professional status because uh, you have to watch the opposition here. They're a little, yeah. little trick. Okay, Nick, we've got to get back Well, it's too late now, but uh, it's very sad that the All-Stars did not have uh, these players on their team. As you can see, they are of world-class calibre.